part of the beard, a play of mine, which caused a lot of scandal. I arrested 13 performances in a row in Los Angeles and uh, San Francisco, the actors were arrested. Berkeley, the actors were arrested. Uh, caused a lot. Oh, won two Obies in New York. Uh, <laughs> And I think it's a pretty nice play. I like it. Before you can pry any secrets from me, you must first find the real me. Which one will you pursue? What makes you think I want to pry secrets from you? Because I'm so beautiful. So what? You want to be as beautiful as I am. Oh, yeah? My play, The Beard, is about the meeting of two mythic American heroes, both very real characters, but mythic in the legends they left behind them. Billy the Kid, who uh, was a savage, uh, very young Rambo-like gunman uh, in the American West, and Gene Harlow, who was one of the great early comedians of the uh, silver screen. You smell like myrrh. Come and sit in my lap. <laughs> What if somebody came and looked? In eternity, there's nobody here. You said I'm a bag of meat, and you said shit about my hair. Maybe I love you. <laughs> You're full of shit. Who can love in eternity? Sit on my lap. You're a million miles away, sweet. Not in eternity. Sit on my lap. Fuck you. Michael once told me that when he wrote The Beard, he didn't actually, he wrote it down, but it was dictated to him. And I said, whatever do you mean? And he said, well, Billy the Kid and Jean Harlow appeared at the bottom of my bed and acted this play out and talked to each other and had this conversation and were acting this out and they wouldn't go away and leave me alone until I got up and wrote it down. I still don't know what the beards mean, why both characters were wearing little toilet paper chin whiskers, but it seemed right. It seemed to make them angelic and somehow not quite human, or more than human. What you want to do? Just what I said. That's what you want me to do. That's right. Sit on a tank? Do you know that's what you'd like to do? Sit on your lap and play with your thing? Yeah. <gasps> oh, hum. <laughs> <laughs> You're out of your nut. We went to the opening that night. And uh, after it, we got in a, in a fight. I don't know whether you know about this. We got in a fight because a guy came up and punched Michael McClure in the face. Uh, uh, for He said, are you the guy that was, wrote that play that in front of my girlfriend and in front of it? And he, he punched Michael in the face. I was sitting next to Michael. I jumped up on the table and I kicked uh, the guy in the face. And then Michael proceeded to beat the shit out of him. But... Uh, uh, and the next day, the theater burned down. What shall we do? Sleep! No. We're absolutely free. Shut up. This is perfect liberty. We're divine. Sure, sure. Listen. You're out of your nut. We're divine. Sure, sure. Do you know, I've always known it. You're not asleep. Sure I am. I talk in my sleep. I know you're a real blonde. I know you're crazy and full of shit. Let me sleep. You're great. There's only one you. Sure, but I'm asleep. Well, I like you. Oh, God damn you, shut up. I'll take off your Get shoes. Get away from my feet. You are a creepy bastard, aren't you? We're divine. I sat through I don't know how many performances of the beard, and I would sit on the edge of my seat almost every time. It fascinated me that uh, a play could hold me. Uh, that I knew that well. But of course, its circular nature was, uh, was part of it. But I, I was really impressed by what genius I thought it showed. Take off your pants. <laughs> what? Take off your pants. Well, maybe I will. It's funny, it's repetitive, it's a man and a woman getting to know each other, being sneering of each other, being attracted to each other, it's repel and attract, it's so many things, but beyond all of the obvious sexual references and attractions, it is also very much a, not a religious experience, not a spiritual experience, but a, 
a real tantra. It goes beyond ordinary conversation. It takes place in a blue velvet eternity, and it's an explosion. Before you can pry any secrets from me, you must first find the real me. Which one will you pursue? But why do you think I want to pry secrets from you? Because I'm so beautiful. So what? You want to be as beautiful as I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got you, you beautiful. It's an illusion. There are rainbows on them, rainbows reflected on sheer black. Now I've got your blonde hair in my hand. Oh, there are rainbows on them, rainbows reflected on sheer now black. Now I've got your blonde hair in my hand. There are rainbows on them, rainbows reflected now on sheer black. I've got your black. blonde hair in my hand. You've got my blonde hair in your hand. There's nobody around to watch. You tore my panties up and you bit my toe. Yeah. And there's nobody around to watch. What do we do?